You have to swipe to get in the harbor, and then you come in here. And then to get in, you come to see student guard, <laughs> Camilla. And you give them your gun card. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> oh, my fingers are in the camera. Um, and we have a printer on the first floor as you come in, so that oh. if you need to print something for class. And that's Jamae's office. She's our community director. She's like the like head of Harbin. She's super awesome. Yeah. Um, and then we have the office of residential living back there. So if you're like locked out or need help with anything, it's back there. She's really nice. We also have bathrooms. Hi, I'm Grace, I'm in the college. Welcome to my room in Harbin. So um, for my room, we chose to do our bed side by side um, instead of bunk, and we put one a little bit higher than the other to put a little bit more space in between us. We have our mini fridge in the middle. Um, and then right here, we have our closets. That's my closet. <laughs> um, and then my roommate's closet is right there. Um, so we have a lot of storage space, and we were pretty lucky because our room already came with a full in here. I don't know if they all do, but ours did, which was really nice. We have a Georgetown flag right there. Check the Bulldog. We love him. Um, and then, yeah, we have our two desks, one on each side, um, which is really nice because we have a little bit of space when we're studying across the room from each other. And then right out our window, we have a view of Cooper Field, which I think is a really cool part about living in Harbin because we have a great location. Sure. Talk about the cluster system. The cluster system in Harbin is three clusters of eight rooms each, uh -huh. and then they all fuse in the middle in the common room where everyone hangs out and makes friends. And each cluster is one gender and has a bathroom and a shower for every cluster. So I have my laundry, right? Just got pulled out of the washing machine. I go over to this thing right here. I click select a dryer, and then I look at the ones that are open, and I think, oh, number 10, that seems legit. Um, and then I go ahead and swipe my go card, and now the dryer is enabled. Thank you. This is Michaela Jeffrey. She's the Harvard Hall president this year. Um, Michaela, what is the best thing about living in Harvard? The best thing about living in Harvard is the people. Honestly, we have two resident ministers, Josh and Abby. They're both amazing. Um, and they are. Are you an Orthodox minister? Uh, I'm an Orthodox Christian. Orthodox Christian. And she um, is just sort of like some, like a resource for people here in Harbin, just to kind of like get to, and once a week she hosts um, an unorthodox snacks with Abby, and she they make food, and everybody gets to kind of come and like talk about a different discussion. I came in here once to watch the Democratic debate. Um, a lot of fun, and her apartment is super cute. Yeah. Hi, I'm Fatima. I'm a junior in the college studying government African American studies with a minor in theater performance studies, and I'm an RA at Harbin 5. What's it like being an RA in Harbin? Um, being an RA specifically in Harbin is amazing because we have so many different characters within our RA team, starting with like our um, staff. We have Jemaine in our building and she's just like literally perfect. Her and herself, like she does so many different things and still manages to be so available for the building. Um, and then every RA has their own like quirky personality trait that makes everything always stay interesting. And I think it also lets everyone in the building feel comfortable to be who they are regardless of like living in a community with different people. What do you